This video and all content on this channel is performed by a pest control professional and it is always recommended to hire a pest control pro in your area to perform any pest control in or outside your home. Pesticides can harm you and your loved ones. Anyone who is performing the information in this video is doing so at their own risk. If you decide to try the info provided in this video, please always check with the local laws in your area and read the labels of any product you use. The label is the law. Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control. And today I'm going to do something that I don't think I've ever done before. Uh, we're going to talk about bird mites. Bird mites are something people actually confuse with bed bugs a lot, but they're not. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you really like it, consider subscribing to the channel. So I've gone over bird mites before. In fact, I'm going to link a video in the cards that explain like right here you know, is usually like a little eye like right here right now that'll actually take you to a video that I did before on eliminating bird mites <clears throat> most of everything in that video still pertains so the difference is I have found a pesticide that is actually more effective than the one mentioned in this video um, we're gonna talk about onslaught fast cap Onslaught fast cap is specifically designed for arachnids, like spiders and scorpions. It is the most effective pesticide I have ever used for spiders. It is fantastic. I love it. It's great. But it also has mites on the label, specifically bird mites. And it is very, very effective. So in the video, I talk about, like the one that I just posted up here, um, I talk about the way to successfully treat for bird mites. That still pertains, like cleaning, using the sterifab, cleaning the area really well, taking down all the bird nests. That's your number one priority. It really should be your number one priority. You need to try to eliminate the bird nesting areas. Birds are going to nest on your house. They're going to continue to bring in bird mites. Bird mites come from birds. So if you're wanting to eliminate your bird mites or keep them gone, you need to make sure you don't have anywhere around your house where birds can roost. This includes gutters, your porches, overhangs, places that you see bird nests, maybe a wreath on the front door. Um, anywhere like this, you want to try to eliminate those places so that birds don't want to roost there and they don't live there. Um, some of you I know that watch my channel have chickens. Bird mites will also be attracted to chickens. You want to try to keep your chicken coop somewhere that isn't near your home. And when you come in from feeding your chickens, you want to remove your clothing, wash your clothing, and don't accidentally, you know, traipse through the house and drop mites all over the house. Because poultry mites, which are a type of bird mite, um, will absolutely get into your chicken coops. And they actually live a really long time without a bird. And so you'll want to try to, uh, you know, keep yourself from contaminating your own home. Um, there have been some studies done since my first video on bird mites uh, pertaining to them breeding off of humans. So in the video that I made before, I talked about how bird mites need a bird and they have to have a bird. You know, this was the going consensus for years. But apparently there is a scientist is claiming that bird mites can actually breed off of humans as well, which is why it's so important to treat your home preventatively for bird mites or just, you know, to eliminate them as a whole. In the pest control industry, we were always taught that if you clean the bird nests away and keep birds from roosting on the house, any bird mites that were in the home would absolutely die off because they would starve to death. This is finding now in that it's actually not true. Um, I'm going to link the article below. I'm going to link the video below where you can actually go and watch this guy explain uh, his research he's done on bird mites and you can take it with a grain of salt. I'm only here to kind of pass on information as I learn uh, new ways to deal with certain pests. So this is actually, I guess you could say it's an addendum to the video I've already done on how to eliminate bird mites. I'm not going to go into a whole lot on what to do and where to treat and all that because I've already done that up here in that video. And so go watch that video and I'll link it in the end cards too. So you can just click it, go right straight to it and um, 
But instead of the Suspend SC or whatever it was that I mentioned, I think it was a Suspend SC that I mentioned in that video, or maybe Alpine, I can't, I can't honestly remember. I'm not going to go through and watch it. It's several years ago that I made it. But um, this is the new pesticide that I recommend, uh, Onslaught Fast Cap. I've had really good results with it. I've used it at a lot of homes with bird mites, and it has absolutely eliminated their problem. Now, the thing is, though, that you have to understand that this isn't a one-time solution where you go in and you spray and you get rid of them and you won't ever have them again. This is something you're going to have to continue to do. Bird mites will get into the soil. They will live around your home. And even if you get rid of your bird, your birds, you know, you can have mites for an extended period of time. So what you want to do is you want to treat at least once a month around and inside your home, around the baseboards, the windows, doors, around the outside of your home, around the windows and doors and entry points for mites. And you want to be consistent every month. And if you do this, usually within three to six months, the mite situation is either mostly eliminated or completely eliminated. So hopefully this video will help you. I know that a lot of my audience has been suffering with mites. Not a lot of exterminators really know how to deal with mites because, you know, like I said, the, the amount of information that we are given, that we are educated with, is really limited. Mites are something that really don't usually bother a whole lot of people. You know, primarily, we deal mostly with things like cockroaches, uh, bed bugs, um, you know, and, and ants, you know, mice, stuff that is really common. Mites are something that I don't get but maybe three or four calls on an entire year. I've got two customers. Out of all the customers that I service, I only have two, two, that I actually go to their house and treat every month for mites. Most of my customers I treat for mites. It only takes one or two visits, and I may never hear from them again for maybe three or four years. You know, basically it's one of those things where, well, it worked for me this time. I need to call Jason back out here and have him treat again. I'm starting to see mites again. So it's not a common problem. It is a problem. People do have a problem with mites. Uh, they'll get deemed as crazy because they're very hard to see. They're about, they could fit on the tip of a pencil point. They're, they're so super tiny. You can see them. Um, a lot of people will come on my channel and they'll say, well, I've got these bugs that I can't see and they're biting me all over my body and I can't see them. You can see mites. The most common one people see are called clover mites. They're little teeny tiny red mites. If you look at them under a microscope, they kind of look like a tick, um, but it, it's a mite. So, uh, I mean, scabies, scabies are itch mites. You know, now they are microscopic. And they will live on you. So understand that if you've got bugs living on you and they're biting you, bird mites will not live on you. Clover mites will not live on you. Spider mites will not live on you. Scabies, or what we call itch mites, will live on you. If you have mites living on you, there is nothing a pest control can do to help you. That's something you need to go to a doctor. You need to seek medical attention. They have to give you a special medication for them to help you deal with that problem because they live on you, so you have to treat yourself for them. Hopefully, this will help you. Um, like I said, if you have any questions below or you have any kind of advice for other people uh, that are also dealing with you know, mites, uh, don't hesitate to leave a comment. I read every comment and... Uh, you know, try to keep it clean, <laughs> you know, be nice, and uh, we'll talk to you next time. Y'all have a good one, and thanks a lot.